Hello, this is me, Samantha. Happy Friday. This is October the 2nd. And um, I'm asking you guys, thank you for being on my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing, liking my videos. Hit the notification button so you can receive uh, uh, more information from me. So today we're going to, we got a hot topic. And then today we're going to talk about something. Right now, I am in school. Oh, this, 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 oh, oh, oh. This professor is throwing things at us in the legal research department. He's throwing, throwing things at us. He's bringing us these uh, last minute quizzes and stuff. And, oh, uh, it's just, it's something else. But I got it. Now, as far as my cases are concerned, right now I got 15 days. The uh, court in Atlanta regarding Equifax gave me 15 days to uh, amend my complaint. And I am doing it. Um, because I'm in school, it's giving me a more insight, uh, a lot of knowledge. I did know how to, uh, write, uh, um, draft legal documents, especially complaints, but you know, you, uh, there's always room for improvement. You always make room for improvement, you know, just because it's my way, you know, and, and, you know, I always go to lawyers and I always talk to them, you know, there, if there's a way to minimize them replying, that's even better. So, uh, he, he's given me 15 days and I have got some great research on how, uh, to reformat my data and, and all of that and put it in more of a, uh, uh, a more for court formatted way, because you got to remember now court procedures and stuff changes. Certain judges may like one thing and certain, you know, another judge may like another. So it's always good to keep an open mind when you're dealing with legal documents and how it is. It's just like with attorneys. A lot of attorneys like things certain a certain way and and what you learn in school may be different from what the attorney like or how other people. So you have to keep all of that in mind. And uh like I said, I got 15 days and uh, that was what on the thirtieth. So I have a I so far I have almost completed, but I go back and fill in the blanks. I look at things. I add side notes in that may be important, and to give him a a more update, you know. So I'm happy about that. Uh, let's see. I'm still waiting on my appeal from uh, credit acceptance, and um, I'm not gonna lie. Right about now, it should come any day because. It was in August and, you know, courts look at stuff right about now. They're getting ready to do ruling. A lot of Supreme Courts getting ready to do ruling. So, you know, I should hear something uh, pretty soon. And as soon as I hear it, good or bad, I hope it's good. Uh, I would uh, pass that on to you. OK, um, so now we're going to go with the hot topic. OK, uh, this year. Um, it's, you know, this is October. We're almost at the end of our uh, year for 2020. And this has been, I'm not going to lie and say this has not been hard. I have met some people who had family members affected by COVID. My family was affected by COVID. Um, my, uh, I've had friends in Memphis that, that, you know, got affected by COVID. I've read articles of people that I knew that had passed on from COVID. Um, the, it was a real deal. It was the real deal here. And for those of you who says, well, now it's fake and it's data and stuff. It's easy to say that when you don't know somebody who's had it. But when you know somebody that had it or been affected by it, you know, that even if it's that one person that you know, it's still that one too many. So it's it's like, you know, it's been it's been hard, hard, real hard. You know, people have lost their jobs. We have basically had to change our way of life. And a lot of people say, well, how does the president of the United States? How did he play? Because he didn't bring it over here. No, he didn't. But he could have prevented it. He there, you know, when Ebola, it was like think three or four cases where Ebola actually came over here and and how it was handled. We didn't have to deal with masks and other issues with Ebola because it was taken care of. So, and we la later learned that, you know, that when it when the coronavirus 
or COVID came here, it affected all of us. And it was downplayed. It was, you know, it was the China or how he said China, China. Anyway, and uh, then he turned around and said it was fake news. And now he then he turned around and said that 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 he's creating a virus. He says that the mask, you know, mask has been around for for ages, but it didn't help. And that you know he made fun of in the debate about Biden wearing a mask. And, you know, he's made a, uh, before then, he made a comment that, you know, people are wearing masks to the bathroom, and it was a joke. Well, this morning, he got part of the joke. Trump got corona. And Melania got corona. And I hear, now I'm hearing so many people say, pray, pray for the president. Pray for the president. I'm going to say this, I can't, you know, I have, I have, I don't wish nothing bad on him, but that's drinking his own Kool-Aid. That's, it, it, it is what it is. And I, when I heard it, when I heard that the president had Corona, first thing I thought about was all those 200 and some thousand souls who lost their lives, many of them were Trump supporters, believing that, you know, wearing a mask wouldn't affect. And you got some people that sit here and believe that, you know, that, you know, this is a fake news and that, you know, that even now, you have some folks that send up here saying, oh, he's just getting it to try to get sympathy. Oh, well, he just trying to use that to advantage. Do I believe that? My thing is that I knew eventually he was going to get it. But you see how karma works? He didn't get it in the early stages. He didn't get it in the middle stages. He's getting it right before early election and election. So this should hit hard home because now he's saying that if he can get it, anybody can get it. If he can get it, Anybody can get it. And I want you to sit here and think about something. I, I really do. I want you to sit here and think about it. How has your life got affected by the COVID? How is it? Some people, it didn't miss a beat. They say it didn't miss a beat. But, you know, it for me, it did. It missed a beat. Because... I, you know, I can't go see my grandbabies. I can't, you know, you know, I was giving things that I had already planned that got shut down. And now it's like, you know, this is a daily way of life. Their way of life. You know, our kids can't go to school. And then you, you know, and I'm going to say this, you got folks that, 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 that's pushing for their children to go to school. And I'm going to tell you why. Because little Ray Ray has been bad all summer long. And they, they're not, they, they, need a, they need a babysitter. I can understand those who have to go to work, who, who are required to go to work. And then now they're, they're, you know, they have to have a babysitter. But a lot of these folks don't want to be in the house with their own monsters that they bred up into this world. See, reality is coming in. Today, reality hit because Trump got COVID. Now they can't call it. What, what is he going to call it? Fake news? And see, this is the downplay of it. If he, if he come out and don't have no symptoms, let's say, for instance, he is, you know, they, because they, you know that he going to get the best care. So how he gonna turn that around? He gonna say, "Oh, I didn't. I, it was just like a little cold. It was like a little flu. Oh, I had the sniffles. Oh, it's gone. And 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 they gave me some medicine and it went away. And see, then that's gonna bring another element that says, okay, well, dog, well, the president, they just making it hype because you know, uh, he didn't get it. He got it and he didn't. It wasn't bad or anything." But see, something drastic is going to have to happen from this in order for them to say, okay, you know what, maybe I should take it seriously. 
because he didn't. When Herman Cain died from it, and Herman Cain was a Republican and Trump's best friend, and he died from it. He still went on and, and downplayed it. He's been downplaying it from day one. Even when he knew it came out that he could possibly, he knew about it, how bad it was and everything. But I, I, I also, you know, now this is what I hope. I hope that while he's, wherever he's at, recuperating from wherever it is, you know, from the COVID, that he's reminded of those 200,000 people that lost their lives. All because of his irresponsible act to not only wear a mask, but to, but to do everything possible to prevent it from spreading. If he had done that, if, if Trump had done that, then you could say, well, yeah, pray for the president. If he had actually did that or tried to do that, then you could say, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I get it. He's trying. He really tried. But he didn't. He just continued to play and, you know, he made fun of Biden for wearing a mask. Now he, look at him. I'd rather wear a mask. Then have to then then the test positive. This it didn't have to be. And that's why I push so hard for voting. Not because it's just in our court system, but right now our way of life is just totally messed up. It's totally messed up. It's so upside down, we don't even know when. It's, it's, it's like a dream that we trying to wake up. We just walking in a dream. Can't get out the car with this. Then when I get in the car, you know, before I touch the steering wheel, put hand sanitizer, I rub it around the steering wheel, you know. So, you know, so many things you have to do now to, you know, just to go to the store. And people thought that, you know what, if we open it up, Mississippi has, has taken their rule of mask off. Right when the hype is coming up. Right when college uh, 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 cases are coming up. Eventually, we're going to have to shut this. Now, it's, it's in reality that, you know what, we're going to have to shut this country down. And I've been telling people, you know, you, you need to, uh, uh, they say that now they got breaking news. Let me see. Let me see what they saying about that. Because now they saying may, oh, maybe and his wife tested, Mike Pence and maybe his wife tested positive. They, they coming out with breaking news now. But we're going to have to, uh, I think this country is going to have to shut down. There's no, there's no way about that. And I'm advising people, um, 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 to you, you know, go get, not just go get tested, but start stocking up. Start stocking up. It's gonna get worse. It's going to get worse. Because until we take responsibility. For the fact that, you know what, we don't have good leadership. It's going to get worse. And this is not about, this is not about, you know, uh, wearing a mask is violating your constitution. It's about the safety of your kids, my kids, my children, our future. That we can keep being our heads buried in the sand and, and, you know, and I'm so tired of seeing so many people say, well, oh, the statistics says this. Well, this is the odds. Everybody want to be a scientist. But ain't nobody went to school for it. This is called universal protocol. And that's what we need to do. Again, do I feel sorry for Trump? Nah. That's drinking the own Kool-Aid. 
that is drinking the Kool-Aid. He's drinking what he's been dishing out. I hope he enjoyed. Okay, I'm through. You guys, thank you. Thank you guys for supporting me. I want to thank all my donors that sent, you know, the little 510, the little ones. I love the little ones. Uh, 510, you know, I thank you guys because you know what? You didn't have to do it, but you did it. And I thank you so much. I thank you so much. And I'm, I'm 2021, I'm going to build this channel up. I'm going to keep talking about it because you know what? You know, it. justice is not just about one thing is about everything, okay? You guys take care and have, have a happy Friday and be safe. Be safe out there, okay?